Hi everybody. Um, welcome to Creative Sarah. I am Sarah Page Gruber. I want to let you know um, how to use our chalk paste single packets. Um, they're so convenient. You get them in all your bundles and <clears throat> there are a few things that you really should know about using these before you even open them. Okay, so let me bring you down to my surface so you can see. <clears throat> Here we have our, <clears throat> oh, I forgot to zoom in. Hold on. Okay. Here we have our packets for you and you want to knead them just like you would like knead dough or whatever. You're going to knead this to make sure it's kind of mixed up in there, which is great. And then I want to show you, I always send you a stir stick if you purchase from the website and you don't get a stir stick, you can easily use a plastic knife or something plastic or metal, not wood, because wood um, absorbs the water in our paste and so you don't want to use a wooden stick. Now, what I do is, with my colors, if I think I'm going to use the whole thing, it doesn't matter, but usually you don't need the whole thing, so what you do is, you kind of get all of that chalk paste down here by the color, right? By where this color is. And you're gonna open, I'm gonna have you just open the bottom, the white part. So I'm gonna show you with this that I had already opened. Here we have some Regal and I have it open. I'm gonna use my stir stick just to go in there and grab some and then I can put it on my surface and chalk with this. Um, if I had um, a surface, I would just use that stir stick, put it on there, and then use your squeegee to like squeegee over it. Now I wanna show you, and that is when it feels nice, mushy, and gushy, right? Like you can feel that it's smooth in there. It's pretty liquid. This is pretty good. It's a pretty smooth, pretty smooth paste. And then after you are done using your paste like you pulled out whatever you needed um, and you could just you know you just take it directly and put it onto your surface you can roll this up literally like fold this up and roll it up and save the rest of it look at how much more I have in here and the reason why I don't open this top is because you won't be able to see what color it is so if you opened up the top, when you rolled it up, the color would disappear. So you wanna make sure to open the bottom and when you have some left, you can roll it up with tape. This will protect it and keep it um, sealed for a long, long time. So there you go, that's really, really cool. If I move over to a packet that this is my white, bright white, and it did not feel very smooth. It felt kind of um, thicker. And oftentimes, I'm gonna give you a little tip, our white is a little bit thicker because there isn't any of that pigment in there to make it um, a little bit more liquidy. So I'm gonna show you, this is like worst case scenario. You get your white paste and it's a little more chalky than it is smooth. You see that? It came out and I'm gonna try to smooth it down. Oh, look at that, like I can barely smooth it. You cannot chalk with this. So what we do is we take a little bit. I'm gonna use my um, fine mist sprayer. I'm just gonna spray a tiny, tiny bit of water on here. Um, you do not wanna over water it. That is the most important thing. So you're gonna like mix this up you can feel it getting smoother as that water is absorbed. And um, these trays are great, but you can use a plate. You could use a glass or a plastic plate. I wouldn't use a paper, paper plate, only because, again, it will absorb water. So I'm just going to do another half spray. Really tiny amounts because you do not want to create a watery mess. You just want to hydrate it enough that you can start to spread this. Look how nice this is coming together. So once you have it to where you can spread it, 
and it's a lot smoother than it was before, like what I'm dealing with now, this is great. You can go ahead and use it. Um, if you don't have a spray bottle, don't worry. You can just take a tiny, um, tiny, 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 like one fourth of a teaspoon and just put a couple drops of water onto your chalk paste. So there you have it. That's how you would get your chalk paste really smooth and spreadable um, if it ever came out of the package kind of dry like it just did. Um, be careful not to overwater it. Tiny drop at a time and mix it up with that stir stick. If you don't have a stir stick, you can use any other plastic like um, knife or the back end of a spoon, you know, something like that. And it should go pretty well. If you have one of these, our awesome multi-tools. This also is great for stirring and mixing. You could do that as well. Um, all right, so I hope you found this to be very helpful. Um, and um, next time you get a packet with some of our awesome chalks in it, you know how to use it. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.